Hi guys, I'm back. Don't adjust your computers. It's me. It's Katie. Um, sorry I haven't been uh, around lately. There's been a lot, a lot been going on. I have a lot that I want to share with you. Uh, not necessarily um, New Year's resolutions because I don't really like to make those because I don't, I, I don't keep them. Okay, so, but I do want to show you some things I've been, other things I've been doing, loving and stuff like that. Um, I had promised myself that I had wanted to read the Old Testament this year. And, oh, actually I started last year. And I got as far as Deuteronomy. So I'm pretty proud of myself and I'm really enjoying it. Um, the Bible stories that I heard as a kid are coming to life. And uh, the story of Noah and Abraham and Jacob and Esau. And it really is uh, a lot of fun to read. So I'm in Deuteronomy, so wish me luck and pray that I get through the rest of it. The next thing that I'm loving, and I have uh, Kelly McKelly to thank, and I'll put her link down below. She's awesome. Check out her videos. She is a Keurig girl, and I love her, her. I love those videos she makes. I love watching her make coffee in the morning. It's just, it's just hysterical. So she got me wanting a Keurig, and I was saying to my husband, if you get me anything for Christmas, get me a Keurig because I just, I just want one. So. I got one. I didn't get the um, Keurig itself. I got the Mr. Coffee brand, and it's but it says it's brewed by Keurig, so it's just um, so easy to use. You just open it up, put in your little pod, and then you um, open up the back and insert the water, and in like five minutes you have a fresh brewed cup of coffee every time. You you don't have to have like with my other coffee maker. I'd pour my first cup would be fabulous. Then the second cup would be like, ugh, you know? So with this, you have a fresh cup of coffee every time. And if I have company, they can make a fresh cup of coffee every time, and it's great, you know? So I'm really loving this cure. Kelly, thank you. Okay, uh, next, I know this is going to be weird, but when you're, uh, when you're a housewife and when things go great around the house, uh, when your appliances work well, you're just you're a happy camper. Uh, my husband got me a new dishwasher a couple of months back, and the dishes were just coming out with this white cast. And I was like, what is this? This is a brand new dishwasher. Why is this coming out so crappy? So I was trying um, every dish soap I could think of. I mean, every, you know, soap for the dishwasher I could think of. My husband even went and got, like, a commercial brand, Cascade, where they have the phosphates in there to see if this is, you know what we were, you know, what the problem was. And finally, we came up with the solution, okay? And it's a three-step process. Uh, I don't have the the third one because I used it and I threw it out and I forgot to. Okay, basically, um, it's from finish, okay? And this is the rinse aid. There's a little dispenser in your dishwasher and you fill that up you fill it up with this and you keep that filled all the time okay so it's this and, the, the, and it's only like three ninety nine four dollars in Target it's really not that expensive okay then you're gonna wash your dishes with this and this is the cutest thing I just love it it's like a little jelly thing this is your soap this is your detergent that you're gonna you're gonna put in your dispenser okay alright and it's by finish okay then the other thing, uh, before you start your dishwasher, it's this rectangular thing from Finish, and it cleans your dishwasher. And I know you're thinking, why do you have to clean your dishwasher? Well, you never used to have to, but nowadays with the way they're making these dishwashers, you have to. It's a rectangular thing full of um, a solution. You turn it upside down on your top rack, and you let the dishwasher run its cycle with just this thing in it. And... I'm telling you, between the rinse aid and the detergent and the the thing you wash your dishwasher with, I got rid of my white cast, my silverware shines, I'm just like so happy to load the dishwasher and unload it, my pots come out clean, my, it's just fabulous, I love it. So invest in these three things, if, you're, if your dishes are coming out with a white cast or if you have like crud on your silverware you know get this stuff you'll absolutely love it guys and then this the reason I titled this video alright um, trashed bags that I want to eat is 
I was on a low budget and I needed trash bags and normally I get the uh, hefty ones but I was like oh let me get the up and up from Target because they're cheaper and that's all I can afford right now well I had no idea that when I got them I was going to open it up to such deliciousness when you open I had no idea I, I just thought this was a regular trash bag but these are their vanilla they're vanilla scented and normally I don't get scented trash bags because they smell like God knows what and I don't like it this I opened it up and I was like smells like vanilla pudding this smells like vanilla pudding like you opened up a box of mighty fine vanilla pudding remember that girls and you just want to eat this and I'll, I'm in my kitchen like who's making pudding you know what I mean these smell so fabulous they're not offensive you just want to eat them you know they're just, every time I change the trash line I'm like oh my god Jim isn't this fabulous and he's like oh yeah it does smell good you know so they buy the up and up brand in Target uh, they're vanilla scented get them you'll love them they do the, they hold the same amount of trash 13 gallons as your hefty uh, or you glad bags and they're great okay alright guys um, that's it for me and what I'm loving um, I'll have another video up um, how to cure your January doldrums okay we'll be doing that so um, oh, excuse my hair I'm letting it grow I don't I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet I'm gonna go to the hairdresser within the next couple of weeks okay so sorry about that guys alright thanks and we'll see you again bye guys